realize, Dave, that Illinois and parts of Iowa, some of the same places that were hit so hard, you know, just hours before are stand to be hit again. Yeah, then a rear high risk up there back across Arkansas, part of Tennessee and Mississippi as well, too, and both verified. Nothing like that so far yet in the forecast, but still a level four risk. We'll look at that up there as well, too. Our Talladega camera is back and you can see the gloomy weather out there this morning here over in Dega as we start off our day there. Heading over to Hoover, some showers continue to fall for you. Commute into town looking pretty soggy this morning and downtown for a BJCC camera. More of that wet and gloomy weather for you as well. Well, too, where temperatures now coming in 56 degrees, a little bit cooler out there as well, too. A lot of the rain, Birmingham, Anderson, Gadsden, southward here, drying out to our west. Temperatures in the 50s for just about everyone now. 53 Alabaster to 51 Gadsden, Anderson, Talladega, Alex City, all at 54. A couple downpours here north of Hamilton, northern Marion County, there in the Phil Campbell area. Also some downpours near Jasper to Cordova area. Have some pretty good rain coming on in for you. Light rain in Coleman. Further south, you go from Brent to Marion to Newburn, Greensboro. Back to Demopolis, Uniontown, some pretty good downpours as well. Some thunder and lightning for your area too. In the metro region, we're looking at some lighter rain here and steady rain for Birmingham, Hoover, Alabaster, Pelham, Helena, Calera, Columbiana, Chelsea, Vincent, Childersburg, Sylacauga, down to 80 toward Alex City, Rockford area, Clanton, thunderstorm over top of you, Maplesville as well too. And this rain will continue to work its way through this morning here. Unfortunately, during that morning commute, farther to the south, severe weather breaking out with some large hail here with some of these thunderstorms coming out of Mississippi and some gusty winds as well, and there's actually a tornado watch now in effect for South Alabama at this point, as that where the greater chance for severe weather will be for the day. Level two slight risk. There's a level one risk here, and this is for later on this afternoon as a warm front moves up from the south that helped to spark off additional storms. But at the moment, that tornado watch till 11 a.m. there for South Alabama will not include our area, though we're not going to see that. We have the storms and rain this morning here. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s through 9 a.m. as we get to about lunchtime today. Still some lingering storms with some gusty winds, maybe some hail possible. And then as a warm front lifts to the north, we'll see these individual storms here. Three o'clock need to keep an eye on these through about dinner time as these could produce hail and gusty winds. Temperatures do warm up though with the sunshine 74 degrees by dinner time. We're in the 60s and 70s, but tomorrow morning some cloudy sky, maybe some fog out there mid 60s for temperatures. But once that goes away, look at this, we warm up to the 80s. For Tuesday. How about that? And to our neighbors to the north, there's that level four moderate risk. Iowa was uh, Missouri back into parts of uh, Illinois as well, too. And back into Arkansas, they have a risk, but we do not. That severe threat is going to stay farther to the north of us. And you can see here our wet weather will come later on this week. And that's all thanks to our front kind of stalling of the area Wednesday, heading into Thursday, into Friday. Good Friday. Some showers won't be all day rain events, but it does continue into Saturday and even on into Easter Sunday morning for sunrise services. May have a little rain there before it possibly clears out by the afternoon, but we could pick up a couple inches of rain as the week goes on. How about mid 80s through Wednesday? The front comes in. How about highs only in the 50s on Saturday there and back to 64 for Easter Sunday.